on the uh, parade ring. Homer's leading them out here with the bunny girl. And they're dressed as emus this year. Is the uh, costumes of the year this time. So Homer's leading round here. And then we've got a retired greyhound in track five leading us round as well. Then we've got track one will be Edna. Two is Gloria. Three is Gertrude is three. Daisy's in four, it's Davina in five, and six is Ethel in trips as a reserve. A late reserve has come in in trap six. So as they come round here, they're all dressed as emus. As you can see, the costumes were made by Lindsay. She worked really hard over the last three months to make these costumes for this race this evening. So well done to Lindsay. And here they come. The first one in trap one is representing the Malcolm the Kennel. Riding Edna is Graham Reynolds. Edna loves her racing, but can be a bit flirty and unpredictable. And number two, <laughs> number two is Bob Patterson's, representing Bob Patterson's Kennel. Riding Gloria is Paul Buckley. Gloria is a game old bird who also gives her best and is also in peak condition for the race this evening. Number three is representing Sonia Spears' kennel, and that's Gertrude. And that's Steve Box is representing the Sonia Spears' kennel as Gertrude. Gertrude has a lot of early pace, but may lack the staying power, but is even a partnership one to watch. Number four is representing Alec Bill's kennel. Riding Daisy is Alec Bill. Alec Bill is riding Daisy there. It's a good all-rounder, but it uh, can be a bit flat-footed, so Alex will need his wits about him to get the most out of her. Number five is representing the racing office, Andy Clayson, your racing office assistant here, is riding Davina, and he has been given the all-clear by the vet and passed to race this evening after a period of lameness. So let's hope he can survive tonight's race and Davina can make the most of it. And then there's a late reserve in trap six, He's our resident hair driver here at Sittingbourne, Colin Clark. He's coming as a reserve on Ethel. So he's a late entry into the race. Colin, one of the regulars here. He's come back left and come back to the stadium. He's one of the most respected persons here at the track and one of our racing office colleagues up at the racing office. So they are the emus for you this evening. They will be starting at approximately three or four minutes. Once we get over to the start time, and they will have to uh, run round the track to this finishing line. And there's also an unpredictable thing for these people, which once they get over the other side, we will tell you what that is. But they won't know until they get just before the winning line. So it's not just a straightforward race. So they're going to be making their way over to the 6.42 metre traps. So it's just over nearly 200 metres, I suppose, probably. Starting to uh, line up there. Homer's over here as well. And also we've got the bunny girl that will also be racing in front of them there. So we head over to the start line. It's quite a way over here, so bear with us. Be a flag start over here by one of the track staff. It's going to flag start them all. So we'll just get them all into line. No cheating or anything, guys. We uh, want a full proper line this time. No full starts we don't want. We want a proper line. And when you get to the end, you've got something to do once you get over that side there. What you have to do is you have to pick up one of the balls that are in front of you on your knees. With your knees, you have to pick it up with your knees and then go across the line. And then one of you will win. So that's what you have to do. So good luck for everybody. Get ready to cheer your emu. Are we all ready? Right, the hair's on the move. The hair's on the move, so we're just waiting now. And then we're going to give a signal for the emus to go. Oh, we're off. We're off and racing. And it looks as though four got a good start. Six was there as well. Collins towards the back at the moment. Andy's also there, but in front it looks as though four's got a, got a wheel clear at the front. Towards the inside, one still there. Somebody's dropped their hat. They've all passed the hair as we speak. We're 
well in front at the moment. Still is there in second on the inside ones, trying to make a bit of progress. But as they come for these balls now, this is going to be an interesting bet. They've got to pick it up on their knees now with the emu suit on. This is going to be where it's interesting. It's going to be close now. There's two of them there. They're all getting to that position. One's got the ball in their knees already as we come to the line now. And in front at the moment then. The one is a clear and the fun is gaining ground as well. But it's going to be a close finish. Oh, it's close. One just got across the line there. Still coming in the others. Collins continuing. Now Collins beaten Andy. Collins crossed the line. Andy's dropped the ball there. Come on, Alec. Keep going. Come on, Andy. You can do it, old son. Come on. Keep going. Get the ball in your knee. You need. You've got to pick it up on. Come on, Andy. Yeah, Andy's finished as well. They've all finished. A big round of applause for all the uh, emus and their representative riders this evening. Well done to everybody. Well done. You're, you're right there, Cole. <laughs> You survived. Andy survived as well. Well done, Andy. You finished. That's the main thing. Everybody's had a laugh. Are you alright down there? Do you need the vet? No, you're alright. That's good. That's the main thing. Well done, everybody. Mr. Austin, please, for the presentation. All the other emus don't disappear. We're going to have a presentation and the picture taking, etc., for you as well. Bunny and the Greyhound, please, as well. We'd like you in the picture. And we'd also like to thank uh, Paul Buckley for generously sponsoring this and also donating £100 to the RGT. Let's have a big round of applause for the winner there, Gertrude. Well done, Steve Box. The home of the Greyhound there, our mascot here is also there. And the retired Greyhound. Swift Legend also there is the retired Greyhound there with the Bunny Girl as well. And well done to everybody. And thank you to Paul Buckley for generously sponsoring this. Well done. Maureen, you can have in the picture as well. Come and join in. It's all the fun of the fair here at Sittingbourne. All in the uh, no, one with just the uh, Patterson Kennels, etc., and the winner. Home of the Greyhound also in the uh, picture as well there. He will hopefully be uh, participating in the Mascot Grand National again this year in October. Homer hoping to do better than he did last year, but he should be there and doing other various events uh, throughout the year as well. And the rest of the emus are going to be having their pictures taken. Well done to all of the emus here this evening. Graham Reynolds was trap one, Paul Buckley two, Steve Box three, Alec Bill four, Andy Clayson was five and Colin Clark was a relate reserve in six. Well done. Well done to everybody. Let's have a big round of applause for them all. All here to entertain you this evening. Well done. Well done, everybody. And well done again to Lindsay. Also took over three months to make those suits. 